So if you're a member of the Hive community, you've probably heard the words Hive Swarms before. However, if Hive Swarms has no meaning to you, here's a little bit of an explanation. It's Hypixel Guilds, but appropriately called Swarms because the Hive is about bees. It's an update that the Hive has said is coming soon, but they've said it's been coming soon for a while now. In this video, I'm going to try and figure out why it's been coming soon for so long now, and talk about what we can expect from Swarms once it actually comes out. Before we do so, however, I'd like to ask that if you could leave a like on the video, and subscribe if you're new and enjoy my content, that would be much appreciated. Now, enjoy the video. This video is actually more of a test than anything. Did you know that whenever I make a video talking about something that I think should be changed on the Hive, it gets acknowledged by the Hive staff not too long after I make the video? For example, when I discussed the updates that the Hive didn't tell you about, they ended up making a small changes roundup on the updates page of their website. Or when I talked about in a video how broken protection 1 was, they fixed it less than a month later. The reason why I'm doing this video is to kinda test and see if that theory actually works. Who knows? Maybe we will see Hive Swarms released not too long after this video is dropped. So either way, let's talk about the history of Hive Swarms. It was seemingly announced in the second half of 2019 via the Hive's roadmap. This is where they list all of their upcoming features that they want and plan to add. About a month after it was announced, it was moved from the In Progress section to the Coming Next section. And since then, it's just been sitting there in Coming Next for over a year. It was moved to Coming Next on October 13th, 2019, and at the time of recording this, it is now December 20th, 2020. There's pretty much been radio silence from Hive staff on when it's gonna come out or any updates about Swarms. The closest thing we've had to any sort of update regarding Swarms is the custom server's update in August, which said that they basically got some of the code that Swarms runs on added into the background of the game so that it'll be a little bit more seamless when the official Swarms update comes out. Other than that, if you ask a Hive staff member when Swarms is coming out, they'll either say that it's coming out soon, or they'll just say that they don't really have a release date for it. Now, I'm not trying to give off the impression that the Hive is in the wrong by not saying the release date at all. If the Swarms update is everything that they've promised, which is something that I'll get into later, it's going to be the biggest update that Hive Bedrock has ever seen. I don't blame them for wanting to take their time on the update, just to make sure that it actually turns out well and doesn't break the entire game, unlike Microsoft on the past few Bedrock updates. Still, I think I speak for myself and most to the Hive community by saying that it would be nice to kind of hear where the Hive is at regarding the Swarms update. It's been so long since we've heard anything official from the Hive about Swarms that it's just kind of left everyone wondering. Now, I say official because there's been a lot of unofficial speculation and chatter since the announcement of Hive Swarms. The main source of this is a post on the Hive Bedrock forums discussing everything we know about Swarms so far. I will leave a link to the post in the description if you would like to read through it on your own time, but I'm also going to go through it in this video as well. So basically, it starts off by introducing what swarms are going to be, which like I said earlier, is basically like a guild or clan system like you see on other servers. They say that you'll have to have Hive Plus to create your own swarm, which is in line with having to have Hive Plus to create your own custom servers. However, again, like with custom servers, you'll be able to join other people's swarms without having Hive Plus. Now, as a swarm, you have access to some features. For example, you can create your own private and custom servers, which are something that we already have, and I guess that might be the ground work of what swarms is to come. You also get XP boosts, custom leaderboards, you get a swarm name as your hub title, you get swarm chat, custom swarm ranks, and swarm battles. We'll talk about all those more as we go further into the forums post. So starting off with swarm bases also referred to in this forums post as custom servers, it seems like you'll have a swarm hub, PvP arenas, and even a parkour area. Basically, it's just a place for you and your swarm to hang out. Now, a YouTuber by the name of Somber Chuckle actually has a theory on what he thinks the Hive will do in terms of monetization for swarm bases. And if you notice in the picture this little platform with glass, I actually have a theory about that. So, they have officially said that swarms are going to be able to be upgraded with money. And here's where I think some of these little glass platforms come into play. I think there's going to be a preview option. There's a bunch more pictures coming up too that you can see this. But I think 
that this is going to be some of the purchasable things. I think there's going to be a thing called PvP Hall. That's why he was talking about it. It's going to have SOMO. It's going to have just all sorts of things in it. And there's going to be each little section. Now, to be quite honest, I don't think this is a bad idea or strategy for the Hive. It sticks with their monetization model of being mostly anti-pay to win and is just cosmetic upgrades. Swarm-based upgrades are definitely something that I could see the Hive monetizing once the Swarm's update finally comes out. Now, let's get back to the forums post. Also, with custom servers, they talk about the custom servers that we know and love today, which are the ones that you can create by doing slash CS. The screenshot of the settings menu that's shown is a little bit different from the settings menu we have now, but it's the same overall concept. There's also a screenshot shown of swarm servers, which seemingly is the custom servers that you can host as a swarm. There's nothing super special or surprising about this, but I would assume that only swarm members or others that you invite are able to join these custom servers. Next up in swarms, we have custom ranks, which you can seemingly assign to different members of your swarm. They say that you'll be able to have up to 10 custom ranks in your swarm, and you'll be able to give each rank custom permissions. I kind of equate this to something like Clash of Clans or Clash Royale, where you can give people like Elder or Co-Leader or just Member, or even like a Discord server where people can have different ranks that do different things and grant them access to different permissions. When you are in your swarm base, it looks like that rank will display next to your name. You'll also be able to set up swarm relations with other swarms. The relations you'll be able to set will be friendly, neutral, and enemy. If two swarms are set to friendly, it seems like they'll be able to visit each other's bases and cross-invite to custom servers. Neutral is pretty self-explanatory, no permissions granted or denied, but the enemy relation is kind of what I'm confused on. I don't really see how it would bring anything but drama to the Hive, and I don't think that's something that the Hive really wants. I guess we'll just have to see how it plays out, though. Finally, there are swarm battles, and these seem like friendly games that you can challenge other swarms to. Not much is really said about this on the forums post other than that you'll be able to challenge other swarms to games such as Treasure Wars, but I think this will be really good for things like clan PvP where you'll just be able to set up a squad and go. You probably won't have to organize custom servers or spectator games as much and it'll make clan PvP a whole lot easier. And I think people who are in PvP clans on the Hive are going to be the people who benefit most from the swarms update. It gives them things like PvP practice arenas, easy access to clan battles, and even relations because I think it'll make it a whole lot easier to organize stuff instead of using Discord servers like they do now. And overall, I think this will just improve the experience for literally everyone that's involved in clan PvP. To sum everything up and to answer the overall question of this video, we don't really know what happened to swarms. There was a lot of initial hype around it from what I've heard, but it's just slowly died out because the hive has told us next to nothing about it. I think a majority of the community would love to know what's happening with swarms at the moment, and hear about the progress that's been made just so we can maybe form a rough estimate about when we could expect it to come out. The community's kind of been left in the dark about it for over a year, and it's caused some disappointment among community members, as you can see by recent comments on the swarms forum post. And so I think I can speak for most of the community by saying that more transparency and communication would be much appreciated. We love this community, and we just want to know what's going on. If that's not too much to ask, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Before I end the video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to my channel members who support me monetarily for $4.99 per month. Their names are displayed up on screen as a token of gratitude, and if you'd like to see your name there next video, you can do so by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button, or by clicking the members link in the description. Again, thank you so much members. Also, I'd like to thank you all for just watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you watch my content frequently but you still aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't want to watch my content anymore. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.